Hey folks, Captain Dave here, and as promised, this is the discussion about the Daiwa Tatula with the T-Wing system. This is the 200 HD. The whole idea about the Daiwa Tatula is that it has the T-Wing system. And the T-Wing system is this right here. Look right there, and then bam. You notice how that opens up to a bigger level wind? And then when you turn the handle, it goes back to a small little precision uh, gap in there. And then when you go like that, it opens up so all that line can go back and forth when you're casting. You're going to get supposedly up to 20 to 30 percent further casts. But to start off with, when I took this thing out of the box, the first thing that I noticed is it was probably one of the smoothest reels I've ever owned. I bought these, nobody gave them to me. I bought them and I wanted to test them for saltwater durability. I've been using them now for over a week, doing a lot of casting, okay? And let me tell you something, these things are so smooth, it's ridiculous. They've got a big power handle, real grippy, tap, uh, tacky, uh, paddles here and what I love about it the most is besides it casting like an absolute dream is the way I can hold it it's got this big flat front on it right here I love really choking up on my on my reels I palm them and I put my finger right there and my thumb is right on there on the spool I've got mine loaded with 15 pound high seas grand slam braid and bright yellow and it's like the perfect combination for jetty fishing out here for most of my fishing i can't actually use too light of a rod because sometimes out here you're going to be hooking into some some, some uh, substantial fish that's for sure so i uh, i got it matched up here with an ugly stick tiger light uh, jig and rod you've seen these in my videos before these are pretty much my favorite all-around versatile do-anything rods I can catch a whiting which I just did on these and I can catch a giant redfish shark maybe even a tarpon no problem but the first thing that I noticed with the with these Daiwa uh, Tatula type HD is how smooth it is it's unbelievably smooth it's smoother than any reel i've ever owned i mean you turn the handle and it is just i mean i hate to use that word like butter but one thing that i would have liked to have seen with this reel instead of a plastic uh star drag I would have rather seen metal especially if it's the HD model okay the HD supposedly can be used saltwater fishing uh, you know heavy heavy freshwater fishing this reel has a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio so it is ultra ultra fast for us saltwater guys that's getting pretty quick all right, the whole thing about this T-Wing and what I wanted to do this uh, kind of show and tell was is how durable is this when that clicks back and forth? Okay, watch that. That's right where the level wind is. And then it opens up and then of course it clicks back. Opens up, see that gap right in there? That's the T-Wing. And then when you go like that, I was thinking a little extra moving parts, you know, 
may not really withstand the saltwater abuse type deal. All right, but it seems it doesn't gather any more. There's no more um, salt or anything places really for it to gather or anything like that. That was my concern and the size of it. I like as a saltwater bait caster, I like a substantial size reel. Um, I've said this before that a lot of the bass guys, you know, I mean, they keep wanting smaller, 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 faster, faster, faster. Well, in the saltwater world, I like something a little substantial. I want a reel that feels and looks really to make me happy that it has some proverbial butt to it, okay? Uh, the drag, I really like. It's a clicker. It clicks. That's extremely important when you're just needing a little extra drag and you know you're actually moving the handle just a click or two. That is super important. I was probably a really die-hard Shimano guy. I still am when it comes to my, you know, my my Triton 100 reels. I mean, you just can't do anything to those things. But I've come to find out with my customers, I'm really like when we're float rig fishing. I'm really liking the fact that the Daiwa has this quick magnetic system right here versus the Shimano's door that you open, you flip it and the whole side plate swings open, which is good. There's nothing wrong with that. But as my customers get a little better with the bait casting while we're just float rig fishing or doing anything, it's really nice to be able to just click this and this also makes a sound. Okay. It's hard. I, I can't. I can't make it. There we go. You're never going to hear that. But it does make a click. Okay. Yeah. It makes a clicking. So that's really good too. I, I put it basically when we're float rig fishing, when I have, I got all Daiwas now, Lexas and uh, some Strike Force bait casters that we're float rig fishing with. I can easily just go whoop, put this on max, absolute max. While I'm handing it to them, they don't even know that I'm putting it on max, so they don't back, so they don't backlash. Okay, um, and then if I see they're getting better throughout the day, I can give them a little bit extra where they can get a little extra distance, and they can start feeling a little more confident using a bait casting reel. So. The mag force, I believe, is what they refer to it in the Daiwa world. This uh, on the outside, I really like that for the customers, and I've come to sort of like it just for myself. I'm sitting here casting a country mile, and I don't even have this thing really on anything because, of course, I've got an educated thumb. But these reels are extremely smooth. I mean, you can kind of take it from me I I bought them I bought them on eBay um, you know I don't get paid for doing anything with them no Daiwa doesn't give me anything I don't know anybody at Daiwa but this reel is a real serious game changer as far as the uh, T-wing system is with something that weighs a good amount like this right now, I'm throwing one of my slab spoons here, and it's 5 eighths ounce. I can cast this 5 eighths ounce just as far with my Corrado, my, or my Sitica, Shimano Siticas or Corrados. Where this T-Wing system for me really plays in is when I tie on something that's a quarter ounce. And that lets me get that extra distance. The stuff that really doesn't weigh much, that on a normal, just a eye, you know, on a level wind, 
would really hinder the casting performance. That's where, when I put on a quarter ounce, that's where I really noticed the casting difference here on the uh, on this reel. Like I said, I got other reels that'll cast a 5 8 ounce, half ounce jig just as far as this, it seems like. Where this really, really shines is throwing this lightweight. It's absolutely amazing. If you're a beginning baitcaster guy, I don't see how this can't help you. This will this will just be a confidence booster for you. The T-Wing system. Who would have thunk it? Making a aperture for your line to go through that's bigger on the cast, smaller on the retrieve to keep your line tight on the spool. Who would have ever thought of that? Well, Daiwa did. <laughs> I want to tell you, the first thing that I do the minute I take these reels out of the box just for saltwater purposes because these do have an um, aluminum frame I don't know what this I don't know what the side plates are really but I back out all the screws I take out all these screws because I don't want to have trouble later if they start getting a little salty or something like that so you back out the screws right out of the box put a little dab of grease on them, run them right back in. And uh, that will really help you. That will really help you in the long run. Because I can tell you, I've had some some really uh, light little you know bait casters, and I haven't done that. And it came back to bite me before, uh, in the long, you know, later when I went to take them apart. And I'm gonna show you here. I mean, these screws are small. These screws are real small. They're little like Phillips heads or little small um, slotted screws. If you ever happen to strip one of these out, you're kind of in big trouble. And saltwater guys need to be highly aware of breaking a reel down and putting it back together. I do it all the way from the nut here to the... Uh, the screw that holds the, the nut locking ring in. I did it with all these and here these three. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the reason why I sort of like bait, uh, low profile bait casters. There's not a whole lot to them. And for some reason for me, um, the first after the first low profile bait caster I started using in salt water. Uh, I, I, I was a uh, I was conformed right then so I've got I don't know how many low-profile bait casters the 7.3 to 1 gear ratio you got to actually say to yourself sometimes slow it down slow down your presentation if you're jigging or something and you're just pumping this and it's really moving quick I mean that is on a full spool you're burning in some line. You really are. There's the rocks right there. And I'm over here. Throwing an eighth ounce jig, you think you really have to sling it, right? I almost threw over the rocks with an eighth ounce jig and a piece of shrimp. That's what the T-Wing system obviously really starts to shine when you are throwing something that weighs next to nothing absolutely next to nothing you dial in the mag the magnetics and let the t-wing system just do it i went to sling like hard and all i need to do is just go like that and i'm going to reach over there to the jetties no problem with an eighth ounce jig head and a little piece of shrimp here we go Eighth ounce jig head, H and H. Oh my God. I mean, it's like absolutely nothing. Effortlessly. That's what, that's what the difference is. Everything's, it's like no effort to get 
an eighth ounce jig and a piece of shrimp all the way over there. I'm loving it, man. I am loving it. I know somebody who already got these because I told him how much I liked them. And I got a text from him and he says, my God, they're small. Well, you know, they could be smaller. They could be smaller, but they're just about right on this rod right here. That's just about right. Palming it, it doesn't weigh a lot. It just seems to really work out for me. I'll tell you that. I'm loving it. I'm loving to be able to grab. You know, I used to have the biggest problem in the world with DOA shrimp. Quarter ounce shrimp. If there was any wind whatsoever, I'm going to get back into my quarter ounce DOAs. I used to have such a problem. Give it, you know, there's some breeze and you're trying to flip up towards the wind and the DOA wants to do this and everything. Uh, but because of this T-wing system, I think I can get right back into it now. Get right back into it. Or throwing a lot lighter jigs. And in, when you're pitching into the jetty rock, sometimes, like right now, I'm only in nine foot of water. And I'm pitching up here to the rocks. And you want to use something light. You don't want nothing heavy. You know, I started out throwing my five eighths slab spoon. And now I've put on this eighth ounce jig head just to show you. Eighth ounce H and H tackle jig head. Right now on eBay, right now it is what, the 30, 31st or something of March. These are as low as 122 or 129, something like that. Okay, this reel retails MSRP for 199. On eBay is where you're going to find your best deals. I always do. Uh, I actually found my best deal on this line on Amazon. I'm a deal hunter. I have to be a deal hunter. I can't pay MSRP for anything for the sheer fact that I wouldn't be able to stay in business. I'm buying twos, fours, sixes at a time. So uh, I think this reel is really going to hold together. I think Daiwa has an absolute winner here. Absolute winner. The minute you turn this handle, you're going to notice something special. It is just so dang smooth. It's unbelievable. And with this system on the side, if you're new to bait casting, which it seems like 99% of the world's new to bait casting, you can adjust this this uh, magnetic drag system over here, magnetic spool casting assist system, and then you can back yourself off as you get better, as you start educating your thumb. Okay, so what it really boils down to is there's absolutely no reason today, in today's world, with these types of reels, from Shimano to Daiwa to all the rest, there's absolutely no reason in the world why if you're using spinning gear, you're afraid of baitcasters. I get people on my boat who've never held a baitcaster in their life. By the end of the day, they're boop, 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 all over the place, okay? And it's because I set it up right for them. They're not backlashing constantly. And I teach them. And you don't start out bait casting, number one. You don't start out bait casting throwing an unweighted rubber worm or something. Start out with something weighty. Put a plug on. Okay. Put a plug on and try it with that. And instead, modify your cast while you're learning how to bait cast. This isn't a spinning gear where you just put it on and, go, and you fling it out there a country mile, okay? If you modify your cast to more of a whole arm, whole arm, doing it that way with the assist of the magnetic cast control, pretty soon you'll be casting like me. I don't even worry about it. I don't even think about backlash. I don't care about backlash. Um, so, 
I just bring it on in and I I do it like breathing. So uh, that's all you gotta do. It's practice. And at the same time, the wonderful thing about bait casting equipment is it's direct drive right here. When you take in line, your thumb can be right there. You can pay line out easier. You can push the button, pay line out, take line in. Pay line out, take line in. If you're like me and you fish current, pushing the button and letting the little line go is absolutely mandatory. That opening the bale, closing the bale, opening the bale, closing the bale, man, that, that's total bull. Okay, I'm a spinning gear. So this Tatula, it's everything that I thought it would be and more. You got high speed, you have the T-wing system here and that's giving you 20-30% more casting ability because see, when the line, like right now, when the line is on this side of the spool, see how the line's paying off on this side of the spool? When you push the button, all of a sudden this gap that gap, when the line is sitting in there, is real small. That's what it would be if it was just a little level lined eye. The minute you push the button, all of a sudden, this opening here becomes really large. And what you get, if I can hold the spool here, what you get is less line angle and dragging across trying to go through the level line. I mean, Daiwa, they really have come up with something pretty fantastic here, I can tell you that. It is sweet.